From Reminder Media, this is Stay Paid, a sales and marketing podcast on a mission to help you close more deals and retain more business. Hosted by the VP of Marketing, Josh Steik, and Reminder Media's president, Luke Akery. So get ready to hear the golden nuggets that will allow you to live a life of freedom tomorrow, but only if you take action today. All right, here we go. Here's another silver dollar episode of Stay Paid. But before we get started, I don't know when this episode is going to release, but Father's Day is coming up this weekend. You got a so dad joke? I got a couple dad jokes for us today. <laughs> the audience loves the dad jokes. They might not I, say it, I but actually, I think they do. I actually love telling dad jokes. Do you know why? No. Because sometimes he laughs. <laughs> this is too much. Did you see the news today, though? No, I didn't see the news. Boiling water has passed away. He, he will be missed. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm like, he goes, boiling water has passed away. And I'm like, I don't get it. I was trying to get it. And then he goes, he will be missed. And I was like, ah, yeah, got it. Got All it. right. But that's not what we're doing today here on the podcast. We're going to be talking about some really critical information here. This quarantine, obviously, that we've been going through, it's been a strange and difficult time for a lot of businesses. Many businesses have gotten creative and adapted in order to stay afloat. Yep. We've seen a ton of these examples in the restaurant industry. We've seen these in the real estate industry, which we work in with people doing virtual open houses. Yeah, and Mike McCann, that interview. You go watch that. It was Zoom. Like yeah. he is all about Zoom. Now. All of his meetings now are, are yep. instead of a phone call, it's Zoom, which is where he gets to really get his personality out there. But what happens when quarantine ends and business is allowed to return as normal? Should we go back to business as usual? We say no. Yes, no. We reject that reality and you choose to submit be, our own. You want to go to the new normal. I, I heard actually a sermon that talked about what if you thought about it as not going back to normal, but going, you know, to the forward. new normal yeah. or whatever, instead of, you know, instead of Revolution, backwards. Evolution, baby. Back. I was like, mm. moving forward. Mm. Yeah. So today we're going to go over three practices that every business should continue post-quarantine. So okay. the first one that we're going to talk about, this is one that we're seeing a ton. We're seeing it with interviews that we're doing with our guests on Stay Paid. Yes. We're seeing it with our own clients and our own content. I mentioned on another podcast that uh, the two biggest topics being searched out right now are cold calling and then and social media. Yeah. Everybody is looking at all of our videos on how to share on Facebook, how to find people on Facebook, everything to do with social media, how to create Instagram name tags that you can share with people. And it's really because so many people are running to digital right now because yep. the consumption is way up. Facebook usage is up like 50% right now. And they're realizing, oh, crap, I don't have a digital presence. Yep. And it's also I think the mindset has to shift with uh, digital especially social media is it used to be you thought social media through the lens of just generating leads mm -hmm. now people are starting to realize no 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 this is a branding game on social media it's and it's a it's a touch point game it's yep. just like you touch people with your postcards and with your magazines and all that good stuff that you're doing through the mail you also want to touch them and see you want them to see you every single day yeah. on social as well it's a customer service thing as well we had Jay Bear on the podcast he talked about one of the things that you should be doing right now is putting all of your FAQ yeah, I love that on your social media. So there's no question. So if you're a restaurant, here's exactly every question you might have about coming to our restaurant. If you're a real estate agent, here's exactly everything that you might need to know. This is something that you should be doing after the quarantine. People still want to be able to come to that meeting or come to that uh, uh, appointment that they have with you and know exactly what you're going to go over. I want to say, is it is it Shaddy Bazzi that we interviewed that talked about what he does before his listing appointments? I can't remember where, right now, where so he kind of learns about the. Well, learn they go. He, they they go over his listing appointments got cut down by like an hour. I can't remember the person that we interviewed uh, about no, that. It's slipping my mind. I don't. We'll know throw it into it the him. show notes because it really was a fantastic point, and this is something you can be doing on your social media as well by giving people as much information as possible before you have that one to one with them. Talking about the trust side, I pulled this stat from Brandfog. Eighty two percent of buyers believe a company is more trustworthy if it's active in social media, and that's mm. because now. Facebook and these social media sites, they're really becoming search engines. Before you choose to work with somebody, you're going to look them up on social media and say, do they have a social media presence? What are they like? Yep. What right? are their people reviews People want to work say? with people that they know, like, and trust. So what are they like? And then looking at the reviews. Do the five for five. Five, yeah. uh, hit up five people a day on social in five minutes. Yeah. And it's like literally you'll hit your whole list over a course of a couple months. Yeah. Touching on social yep. media. Eric Feng, we had on the podcast, he talked about a, a realtor in Hong Kong 
who was the number one realtor for like, what, 17 years straight or something like that. This is the first year got beat that she got beat and she got beat by somebody with a yep. social media presence and attribute 100 percent of it to the fact that she wasn't online. On Golden social nugget of social is social media was created to be social. Yeah. Just don't ever forget that. It wasn't created just to post a bunch of stuff. It was created for engagement. So comment, like, That's a contribute. Great, That's yes. the golden nugget right there. Absolutely. The second biggest point is gratitude. So this really goes into this framework that we've put together, which is this care, educate, close. Mm -hmm. So everybody's been reaching out to their clients right now yes. to check in with them. Finally, <laughs> finally, agents across industries are showing care for their clientele. It's like people push back on us all the time. Like, you don't need to know what some, if someone has a dog. You don't need to know if someone you know cares about. I mean, we heard this the other day on a podcast, and we're not here to fight people on their podcast, on their views. But I totally disagree. I, I think the more personal information you know about somebody, the more real of a relationship you have. And I mean, it's just you can't help it. There's things that you value in your life. If you're a pet owner, you value pets. If you, I mean, if you go to church and you know your agent goes to church, you can't help yourself. You value that because you understand the foundation of how they built their life, the more personal and you can get connected with your clients that's not related to business, the more they'll use you and they'll refer you and they'll actually want to refer you because they have such it's a the deep reciprocity. trust. Yeah, they have a deep trust. How do you do that? You reach out and it's not just about promoting your business. So mm -hmm. what, I mean, do the commitment that Tom Ferry talks about. Commit to call your client every 90 days mm -hmm. for the rest of their life. <laughs> so every 90 days you're touching base with them and you know what I mean? You're, you're talking to, you know, your client every 90 days, you're touching base. How's life going? How's things? And you care about them. Then you educate them on what's happening in the market or whatever's going on. And then you ask them, do they have any referrals? Another tip for gratitude that we would say would be to be specific. So don't generalize the thank you. Make sure that you are pointing something specific out about what you're thanking them for. A general like thank you note to all of your clients <laughs> is okay. You can do that. But when reaching out personally, make sure that you're pulling something yep. out that they've done recently or that you've noticed that they've been doing on their uh, on their own social media. If you're following your clients on social media, make sure you're calling attention to that. Go back and listen to our podcast with Kim Angeli because she has an entire company based yeah, she's around this the idea at this. of growing revenue with gratitude. She sends 1,600 birthday cards a year to her clients and makes them all uh, personalized. I'm going to give another sub point for gratitude too, mm -hmm. which is not only do you use it to reach out to your clients, but gratitude exercises. Like we hear yeah. that so often at the end of our interviews of Stay Paid is practice the art of gratitude. Literally before your day, what are you thankful for? Because change your perspective, change your life. Yeah, it's part of the, the miracle morning. We have uh, our own producer, Ariel, has been doing five gratitude uh, yeah, gr things gratitude. that she's grateful for every single day she on was, her Instagram uh, story. She was thankful for, what was it in Aaron Carter bop that came on the radio or Dude, something? I walked into I these like, two yesterday. I was like, an Aaron this, Carter <laughs> song on the radio you're thankful for? Jeez, no. <laughs> in, this, uh, in, this, in our photo studio, and like Andrea's sitting there with her back to the door at a desk, and I see like Ariel crouched behind the desk on her hands and knees with this music. I can't remember what the song was on at the time. Like, what is going on? What are you two doing? Yeah. They're recording a hype video for our <laughs> brand new product. Branded post. Oh, uh, yeah. Wait so till you guys cool. see this product. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, ReminderMedia.com. Check it out. So the last tip that, or the last thing that we, we should say that every business should continue doing post-quarantine is to continue to review and then prioritize your goals. So this is yes. all about, and you mentioned it about, about before the podcast, it's really like everyone has raised their standard, has yeah. raised their level of effort during this quarantine just to try and hit or, or tread water. Don't let that end when this yep. whole thing ends. Yeah, it's basically, you know, everybody looked and said, where can I cut the things I don't really need? Yeah. Why didn't you do that before? Yeah. Why not have the standards? Or, hey, I'm going to have to do extra dials in order to make sure my business maintains. I'm going to have to do extra in teaching or reaching out to my clients, like we talked about with the care, for my business to maintain. Why go back? Yeah. Set the standards so high. That bar is now there. Now ask yourself, can I raise the bar even more? Yeah. Can I raise the bar even more? Yeah. Hey, anyone could be an all-star if you set the bar at your ankles. Yes. If you, if that interview, has that interview come out yet? I don't know. I don't know. But I, I hope it's come out. The, um, Peter was an amazing. Peter Taunton. Yeah, he Taunton was absolutely was incredible. He is the, uh, he actually basically created this idea of the 24-hour slim down fitness center. So yep. he, he founded Snap Fitness. 6,000 franchises. <sighs> like freaking Man, unbelievable. Absolutely incredible. So yeah, don't rest on business as usual. Look at contingency plans. So now's a great time. Everyone's had to readapt and, and, and evaluate and, and adapt very quickly during this time. 
don't just go back and say, well, we're fine now. Like yep. go back through and say, hey, what happens if something like this happens again? What happens is if, if another thing? Mm -hmm. It's also a great point to uh, why you should be studying history, mm. right? Because you can go back, look at these things that have happened and then and build not, out your own contingency ladies plan and gentlemen, based on them. You're doomed to repeat it. You're doomed to repeat it. <laughs> So thank you so much for listening to this podcast. Hope you were able to take away a few uh, action items for things that you should be doing post-quarantine in this new normal, whatever it's going to end up looking like. Make sure to check out this video and any of the notes that we have. We'll link to some of those guest interviews that we mentioned because we like bringing those up because that's where you can really dive deeper into some of these subjects from these industry experts. Find that over at staypaidpodcast.com. And if you're looking for ways to support the show, we really appreciate it. The first way is to rate us five stars on iTunes and leave a comment. Here is our featured review for this episode. Uh, Young Nelly 20 via Apple Podcasts says, makes me feel empowered. Five stars. This podcast has great content with the ongoing pandemic, so super mm. timely. I feel empowered and motivated despite my circumstances. I feel I am learning a thing or two that will benefit me as I make decisions in the near future. So thanks, Young Nelly, for uh, sending us that review. It's awesome. You can rate and review us on iTunes, Spotify, or Stitcher. And the best way to tell a, uh, to support is to tell a friend about this episode. If you want to get hold of me or Luke, you can email us at podcast at remindermedia.com. You can we also, love your questions. Email us. We would love your questions. Yeah, let us know what kind of what you want us to do as a yeah. silver dollar episode. We, yeah. What what content do you want? Yeah. So you know, Josh and I have about two hundred and fifteen employees. Our yep. company's about forty two million dollars in revenue. If we, there's something specific yep. you want to know about the company, we do a lot of us. we do a lot of stuff in leadership, cold calling, marketing. Yeah. I mean, for our own company, let alone all our clients. But uh, so let us know if there's topics you want us to cover. You can follow us at Stay Paid Podcast on Instagram. You can also check out the company at Reminder Media mm -hmm. on Instagram or on Facebook. And then, of course, you can follow Luke uh, on Instagram. He is at Luke Acre. For this episode of Stay Paid, I'm Joshua Stike. Guys, and I'm Luke Acre. And here's what I would encourage you as you enter into this hopefully post-COVID. Uh, um, hopefully we beat this thing and it, it doesn't come back like they say, but make sure you continue to reach out to your clients with this care, educate, close. It's so simple. You should be reaching out to your clients. I love what Tom Ferry says, call them every 90 days for the rest of their life. And that framework should be, I call to care about you. I call to educate and make sure I'm there to answer any questions for you. And then I'm there to close, which is, Hey, do you know anybody that I could reach out to and help? Or do you need help right now? Remember, the difference between a top producer and a mediocre producer in every single industry is top producers reach out to their clients and they care about them, they educate them, and they close them. Take action on that today.